Ciao everyone, uh, today I wanted to share a um, new video of a product that I bought for my uh, MacBook uh, Pro Max and it's a um, um, Thunderbolt 4 hub it's from a company called Jaya or Jai I don't know how to pronounce it and um, basically is uh, the, the product is called Thunder, Thunder Dock 7 Mini I'm not sure why it's called Thunder Dock 7 the number 7 and um, it's all in Chinese box and it doesn't have any uh, any labeling about the name of the product which is kind of weird uh, I bought it on AliExpress and uh, as I said it's a Thunderbolt uh, 4 uh, dock so let me open the box I already opened before of course um, and here is the product um, so the color is it's pretty similar to the to the uh, Mac a bit darker it's kind of um, not heavy, but it, it weighs like a, probably like a smartphone. And um, the interesting part about uh, this product is that uh, again, it's a Thunderbolt 4 port, but it has a AK uh, 3.1. Well, let me let me uh, continue in the box in a box, and then I'll talk about the ports. So. Inside the box there is a Thunderbolt 3 cable, um, screwdriver, uh, then there are some uh, uh, rubber uh, rubber sticker that you can put underneath uh, the hub, and then there is a um, heat, uh, um, how you say, I forgot. The rubber that you put inside uh, the MBME uh, to dissipate heat. Um, since this hub has an MBME, uh, MBME um, PCIe four. Uh, memory there, SSD basically. So again, here are the ports. So um, 20 volt input uh, uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, this uh, to dissipate heat has a fan inside. Uh, AK, so is uh, there is a DP 1.4 uh, video uh, jack, a 3.1 10 gigabyte uh, uh, USB and these two are the Thunderbolt 4 ports and uh, there are 65 watts this guy and 15 watts this guy so you cannot uh, really charge the uh, MacBook 16 Max because that one requires uh, 96 so um, I didn't bother for that and um, inside here there is a um, an MVA ME uh, slot. So I'm going to open it with the screwdriver. Uh, okay. And I don't have an MVME uh, PCIe 4 uh, SSD yet. I just put it and uh, I'll get it next week and so I'll, I'll do an update video uh, with the performance so inside here there's the MVME so you can put any MVME that you want I'm not sure the limit probably is 4 terabyte but don't quote me on that because I couldn't uh, find information about uh, I just bought a, a, a 1 uh, terabyte um, and it should work fine, okay, so 
the the thing is between this guy and the picture there on the site uh, there is no mention here on the PCIe 4 um, but we'll see and the other thing is there is no manual or like paper that describing the product inside the box so that was uh, weird but this is the product so it's really compact I like it for that so you can bring it with you everywhere um, but it's a very specific case uh, uh, user case because these two guys they cannot charge the laptop I'm going to buy a dock a uh, special dock for them uh, but it's cool that it has an NVMe uh, SSD here so you basically have an extension to your your um, laptop and um, and since it's a PCIe 4, um, the SSD, those SSDs, they go up to uh, 7,000 uh, megabytes uh, read and write. Uh, so it's going to be interesting, the tests. I'm going to do some comparison. I have another NVMe, one terabyte uh, here, uh, this guy. Uh, but on this one I installed uh, Mac OS for my Akintosh, it's an old ter terabyte, so I have to uh, format it before I, I can use it. So I'm going to leave the, the links in the description uh, box if you're interested to, uh, to try to buy it or uh, just check it out to the specs because uh, uh, my, it might fit your your uh, use case and I might not so I don't know so that's it please leave a like and subscribe to the channel I'll do more reviews and share the video and hit the bell for notification on next video ciao everyone and I'll see you on next video bye